personal with Akwewe Idono. Coming to you every Monday. Stay tuned. This is Up Close and Personal with Akwewe Idono. This is a platform that helps you to succeed in life and business. So the last time we spoke about the five top skills that you need in developing your team. So we had already spoken about taking advantage and developing them, their soft skill, uh, you know, knowledge base and all of that. And today we're going to talk about how to, you have to diagnose, that's number three, diagnose their stretch. What does that really mean? To diagnose their stretch is to actually know how difficult their role already is and then the limits the reason is because you do not want to overwhelm them at the end of the day instead of building capacity for the work and building efficiency you're actually dropping it because they have already taken a lot so you have to be able to diagnose that's number three diagnose their level of stretch then number four look for on the job opportunities it's very important and crucial that you're trying to develop your team so that they can be more effective in the workplace but then it's not just about the training as important as that is it is great that as soon as they get trained on these new areas there are opportunities within the firm that they can actually practice these new skills that they have developed so look for on the job opportunities for your team members and colleagues and then number five now have a strength-based approach what does that mean we understand they are trying to develop the areas in which they are weak or the areas that they would want to learn more about and uh, be more effective on their roles but it's also important for you to have been able to uh, see those parts where they already work very well they're already very efficient you are going to be able to maximize that so have a strength-based approach focus on the things they already do very great at while they are learning on the other areas where they have you know weak and they have a slack back in that way you can really have more results and then you can produce the best out of them now when it comes to trainings like this is mostly about it is very important that you're able to take stock and report over a period of time to see how far they, those skills that they have developed have been put to use and how it has actually helped the business to move forward. It is very important that whatever skills, developmental skills that you are trying to imbibe in your team and your colleagues actually have a, a positive impact on the team and also a positive impact on the company as a whole. So if you do have questions and if this has really impacted you well, please send in your feedback. You can ask questions and I'm looking forward to hearing from you and then get to spend more time 